like they used to. Um, whoops, sorry. All hail the THX Overlord. What's going on, guys? BHG Teacher Trek Fan Idiot here. Uh, yes, this is another Laserdisc movie. Projector's not running, surround sound's turned off, but a couple of cool things. So, I have this release of Jurassic Park. It's letterbox, but it's Dolby Stereo, and it's amazing. But I know that there is a DTS version. In fact, Jurassic Park was the first film officially released, I think, in the world, but let's just say the U.S., uh, in DTS, Digital Theater Sound. In fact, I think... Ha-ha! <laughs> no home theater system is complete without those signs. Anyway, so, great, great kit here. Picture quality is great, but it's still, it's still stereo. This, I picked up off eBay. You, aliens, I'll get to in a second. So, Jurassic Park here, like I said, was the first film released in DTS, and this was the first release that it was available for the home market in Digital Theater Sound which requires the special codec. So I'm very much looking forward to listening to this and opening it. But this, I'm not gonna go into details because I don't have time. A friend of mine lives out west and he knows how much I love Laserdisc and what I'm doing right now, as well as a few other things. But, you know, friends of mine know to keep an eye out for this kind of stuff and I'm a huge fan of Aliens. I mean, hello. You get the trifecta there, not the best trifecta, but still. Um, I recently switched up where my posters are and whatnot. but. Anyway, this is, I got this in the mail and I was like, wait a minute, this is Jurassic Park. I opened this first, I was like, what is this? This is Aliens, James Cameron's classic. It is completely sealed. This is brand new stock, or old, new old stock, whatever you want to call it. I didn't know this existed. I thought Aliens was just the generic Laserdisc releases, the special editions. Uh, Aliens is here. I know I have another version of it. It's... It's here somewhere. It's it's widescreen. It's the special edition, um, but I'm not going to waste time looking for it here. It's it's here somewhere. But anyway, uh, that one that you saw there is the four by three basic, like bare bones version of the release. So I <laughs> I saw this and I was like, Are you fucking kidding me? They released Aliens in Dolby Digital AC three audio. I can't wait. Um, I think this is probably the last release of Aliens on Laserdisc 2 before they went to straight up just DVD and then eventually, you know, Blu-ray. And let's not even talk about VHS, but this is the back of it. As you can see, if my phone focuses, this film did win an Academy Award for Best Sound Editing, which it totally deserves, as well as Best Visual Effects. So this is the theatrical version, which I'm okay with. I love Aliens, and I could watch the special edition all day long, but... One of the cool things about James Cameron is that when he makes a film, when it comes out, it's usually perfect. The special editions of his films, which I'm curious as to why Titanic doesn't have a release yet, or True Lies, maybe there's just no other footage. But anyway, um, the special editions, it's kind of like, you know, revisiting a book and you missed a chapter or something. It's just nice having the special edition. But what I love is this. You know, for this widescreen Laserdisc release of Aliens, director James Cameron's Lightstorm Entertainment went back to the original camera negative to produce the finest film transfer possible, supervised by Lucasfilm THX Laserdisc program, and <laughs> armed with Dolby Surround AC3 digital sound, we are proud to present James Cameron's masterpiece as it has never been experienced before in actual Dolby Surround sound. And of course, I'm a sucker for this stuff at the bottom here, you know, telling you what it is, all the different behind the scenes stuff, and you know wide screen, blah, blah, blah. Um, but I should get that as a tattoo. I don't have one yet. Anyway, um, as you know, with all the stuff that I do, I am going to first focus my camera and get rid of the glare. Sorry. Uh, I'm going to try and salvage the sticker. I'm going to open this. I'm not going to open it on screen because I want to focus on not ruining it, but I'm, I'm actually kind of nervous because if I, I want to know, I'm actually using the camera to kind of help zoom in here. 1995. Okay. I can buy that. I mean, it's not like a anniversary or anything like that. That was, what, 86 that this film came out? Yeah, 86. Um, so close to it. Almost almost 10 years. Uh, but I will be back with this, hopefully salvage and 100% working. Be right back. Okay, I have succeeded in putting the sticker on here and taking the cellophane off. I have not looked at this yet. Nah, you know, I... 
figured I would open this for the first time. It's very rare that I get a unopened laser disc or anything for that matter, vinyl, things like that. So without further ado here, oh, real quick, if the phone will focus. Sticker went on pretty good. I put it a little closer to the edge. It's not on the edge. It's as close as it can be, like it's a millimeter or two, but I'm happy I was able to save the sticker. So that being said, after that update, let's make sure the camera stays focused here. Ready? Here we go. You're doing it with me here live. Oh, you can tell it's never been open before. It's all stiff. There are some places in the universe you do not go alone. No shit. LV426 can go fuck itself. But more importantly, first of all, I love this. Um, I, I can't I keep calling it album art, especially in the other videos, but I love what they do with Laserdisc. I keep saying that, but like you open this, <laughs> you're just immersed in the lore here. But I'm kind of nervous about this. So let's take out, it's in this generic plastic that they all came with back in the day. Not good stuff. I'll replace this. Please don't be broken. Please don't be broken. Please don't be broken. Woohoo! It's not broken. Disc one is not broken. Let's, um, let's inspect disc two. Normally I do this with two hands, but nothing's going to happen here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, thank God. Okay, nothing's broken. Uh, I'm looking at it with my eyes here. I'm just moving it around for the phone. Yeah, we're good. Awesome. I will uh, replace this plastic later on. But I know you guys are probably wondering. DTS, I'm about to put this on while I edit some photos and just listen to it in all its glory. Like I said before, and like other people have posted, you know, Laserdisc was around before surround sound became what it is today, which again... Nowadays, you can go out and buy a sound system for 200 bucks and have surround sound. This is during a period when you had to put a lot of effort and time and money into getting actual surround sound. I mean, let's look at this for a second, because I kind of glossed over it before. You had a home theater amplifier, which back then was just an amplifier. This happens to have the amplifier and the actual components that split the signal, all that fun stuff, and decode Dolby Digital, DTS, high definition audio, all that shit. But back in the day, you had an actual receiver, and then you had the device that actually spits the sound, splits the sound into multiple speakers, and or you had this decoder here. And I'm really, really glossing over this, but you just have to remember what it took to get stuff back in the day, kind of like with anything. You know, what did it take to get milk and keep it cold back in the 1920s or 50s or 30s? What did it take to get ice? Same thing with surround sound. This is not easy to do. You know, I mean, the fact that this is even working, the fact that this Laserdisc player is working. I mean, granted, it is from 2002, so it's not as old as, you know, other units. Uh, but, but still, I mean, stuff you buy today, like the reason why I'm using a Blu-ray player from like the second gen or third, third wave or third gen of players is because my Panasonic I bought with my TV brand new from five years ago already shit the bed. Not one, but two years into using it and it got light usage. Long story short, after a firmware update... It basically bricked itself, and Panasonic refused to honor the warranty because it was out of warranty, but it, it, it bricked because of them. Anyway, all that ranting aside, I'm pretty happy. Buddy, if you're watching this, thank you very much for Aliens. I, I can't fucking believe that there's a Dolby Digital version of it out there. And also, I didn't even notice this when looking at it earlier. Look at that. On the cover, besides my now fingerprints that this has been clean of this whole time, that's the Alien Queen how fucking cool is that? It's kind of hard because the phone keeps, like, exposing differently. But if you don't look, or if you look at a certain angle, you can't even see that. That's fucking bad. That's the stuff I'm talking about. This is why I have passion for this stuff. Little things like that you don't get anymore. Awesome. Totally, totally awesome. And, of course, this is awesome, too. And like I was starting to talk about, because this video is getting a little long for some of you. I know attention spans are low. This audio on this, on this laser disc I'm willing to bet is the closest anybody could ever get to recreating the original audio slash theater going experience for this film which as you all know Jurassic Park is huge for both visual and audio design etc so I can't wait to get this thing going here and uh yeah let's listen to that roar
All right, guys, I have skipped to the part that I want. I have been waiting to, to hear something like this for a very long time as a big movie buff. Volume's up pretty high. No one's home. I don't care. Let's do this. Not to endorse your park. So have I. sounds on a release from this long ago i mean what can i say guys fucking awesome so awesome i think i might just uh might just decide to replay it real quick <laughs> lost for words guys that sounded fucking amazing i've heard the blu-ray i've heard the dvd i've heard the other laser disc version holy shit that sounded phenomenal the bass was present without being overbearing the mid-range and highs were there the separation the separation i know it's dts but on a laser disc holy crap i like i want to go and put the blu-ray in right now for you guys but i got other shit to do but holy crap that was awesome i I'm just going to put this on. I mean, I might just put aliens on for tonight while I edit photos, like I said before. But, man, that was awesome. And this is going to get so flagged for copyright. Later, guys.